All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And this is another Vimeo OTT tutorial where I'm going to show you a simple trick that you can use to change the background color or image on any Vimeo OTT theme. Right now, I have the Obsidian theme live, and this trick should work on all the themes, though. So that's what we're going to test out right now. It is very simple, so pay close attention, okay? Uh, for the specifically for the obsidian theme because I've already extracted the CSS I will in the description below I will leave that available to you for free so you can copy and paste that but if you're interested in getting an actual template where you can just actually purchase uh, that will also be available here very shortly so subscribe to my mailing list to make sure that uh, when that's ready you'll be able to jump on that as well and I'm gonna make videos talking more about how to actually get that done so let's go ahead and let's go to edit theme. Now, so you'll notice that in this Obsidian theme, you really cannot change. It only really allows you to probably change the background and the color overlay here at the very top. And I think that's where it is on uh, Hero Promotion, where it has the color overlay. So you're only able to change the background and add images here. All right. But now, what if you wanted to change the color or you wanted to add an image back here on each section that is available to you? And then it gives you the option to actually turn these on and off so you don't have it. But I'm going to leave these all on, just assuming that you want to actually change this, the background for each one. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is this is a very simple one. I also did a video on this previously where I showed you like how to actually use the developer tool function in your web browser to find the code that you need in order to make the adjustments using CSS. If you're able to read and you're able to understand basic color concepts and everything else, then CSS is not that difficult to change. So let's say, for example, if I wanted to change this, um, we'll say this bottom part right here, watch from anywhere. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my more tools, my developer side. I'm going to do developer tools. Once this box down here pops up, what I'm going to do next, and let me move my video section here for a second. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on this little arrow that's right here. All right, that's going to turn on. That's going to be able to allow me to highlight where exactly I can pinpoint the code verbatim. So I'm going to click here, and that points down here to the HTML. That points down here to this section. I need to make sure that this is highlighting everything. All right. So it says devices, and we have a lot of class names. Devices, border top, padding, top, extra large, margin, bottom, extra large. If you don't understand what these class names mean, it's okay. Right now, you're just kind of watching, so you can basically just kind of steal this trick, copy and paste, so you can make the necessary changes available as I'm, I'm guiding you to do. And this is appropriately named devices because it's where the devices are and it's where watch anywhere. So whoever developed this properly named this HTML div tag. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click here and I'm going to come over here to the CSS side. Move that over. And we're going to raise this up just a little bit so you can see. And we need to look for that class name that says devices. If we don't see it, then that's fine. We'll just write it in. Okay, because I already have experience with um, CSS, I'm going to just come up here and put dot. Because whenever you're naming a class name, you need to go ahead and you need to put a dot. And we're going to just copy it exactly where it says devices. And we'll open up a curly bracket, close that. Uh oh, that's not closing it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put background color, background dash color, and I'm going to put red. All right. And when I click off, this whole background should turn red. And voila, very simple trick to do. Now, this back, this part right here is a margin space, as you can see right here. If I go into the, let me go back. Once I click back on the section where it says devices, this is actually going to be where it says margin, bottom, extra large, that class name. Now I'm going to just adjust the sizing for this so we can actually shrink that, not too much. All right, perfect. And you see that I shrunk it and that made that actually close up. So there is a margin, meaning that there is a space separating the block from the next block that's going down 
like I said, if this is a little bit tricky to understand, a little hard because maybe you, you watching this, you don't have experience with the CSS or anything. Like I said, don't worry about it. Just copy what I'm actually doing. The only thing that you're going to change here is you're going to actually change the color. If you want it to be a different color, what if you want it to be a gradient, you can actually go to, and I'm going to close this out. Actually, I'm going to leave that open because it's going to stay here. You can actually just do a quick Google search and uh, do CSS uh, color gradient generator. And there's going to be a plethora of websites that you can actually go to. You click here. And let's say if I wanted to give it a, let me slide this over. I'm just messing around for now. And let's say if I wanted to leave it transparent or something like that, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click here so we can make this a little bit lighter. Okay, make that just white right there. And let's say if I wanted to actually make this more, change the radio. All right, if I wanted to change that. Okay, perfect. So just something I'm just messing around with. So we're going to come down here. We're just going to simply highlight this. All right, not, not all of that, but we're, we, just, we really just want this. So I'm going to hold shift press the arrow key so I can actually not get all of that perfect and then I'm gonna hit on my Mac I'm going to hit command C to copy it I'm gonna come back over to my theme editor all right I'm gonna delete that I'm gonna put command V we'll click and we'll see if that copied over perfect so now we got this nice gradient back here that we wanted for our um, area okay and because I clicked off new, that remade the developer tool code reset. So that's no problem at all. But what we would do once we actually make that adjustment, we'll just shrink it down, copy and paste that code over here so it can be permanent within our theme setting. So now what if I wanted an image to be back here? What if I wanted an actual background image? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go ahead and delete this gradient. All right. And I'm going to put background image. The only way, the only reason I know this is because of my experience, my previous history, just knowing CSS. So it's no problem for me to just easily pull this up. I don't expect you as the viewer to actually notice, which is why I'm doing this video, just to show you these tricks so you can just copy what I'm doing without really understanding it. But I'll make it clear exactly what you need to touch and what you don't need to touch in this code. All right. So now it needs to have background image URL and we need to put two quotation marks in there. And in between these quotation marks is where we're going to pull an image online. So let's say if I wanted some, um, let me see, you can actually put a GIF here too. So let me actually do a GIF. So if I wanted some moving flowers GIF, say if I wanted that moving flowers GIF, um, something very innocent. Let's see what this looks like. All right. I may look like that's doing a little too much. What about this? Okay, this don't look too bad, but that's more centered, so we won't be able to see that all the way. It'll be right behind those TV screens. Uh, let's see what these are like. Okay, this is pretty subtle. So let's open this link image in a new tab so we can just get it pure. Okay, this is off of Giphy, so open image in a new tab again. Perfect. So we're going to just copy, highlight all of this, and hit Command C. All right. Forget that little message there. I got it tied to my phone. All right, so we're going to go back. And I'm going to copy and paste that into this. If it didn't work, it's fine. Oh, okay, and there we go. We, we have it, our GIF here. And it's moving just like we wanted it to. All right, now we see that it has a repeating background. It has a repeating background. So now what I'm going to do is background repeat all right perfect but we need to stretch this image out as well okay so i'm gonna do background size okay we're going to do a hundred percent a hundred percent so that way it will stretch and then with the colon so that way this will stretch all the way across and there we have it now it doesn't look good stretch like this because we have it just stretched all the way down i mean all the way across to fit the dimensions evenly but the image itself is a little bit small in order to do that so i think this one here one is the x-axis the other is the y so we know x is going across y is going up and down all right so we're going to i think it's the second one 
we're going to make this 125%. So it could stretch down further. Okay, let's make this 150%. Okay, perfect. All right. Still more enlarged than what you probably would expect it to be, but that's okay. We just wanted it to stretch all the way across so we can actually see that this is actually taking up the entire space of the, and I'm going to close this out so you can see the whole thing, and voila. And that is how you change the color, and that is how you change the actual background um, image. If you want to add an image to any background here on Vimeo OTT to anything. Now, this is the Obsidian theme, but let's go ahead and let's test to see if this is actually going to work. The same rules apply for um, for a different theme. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this out. Okay, going to close this out. Okay, and this should return back to its original form. There we go, to its default form. Okay, exit. I'm going to go to now, we're going to go to theme editor or platforms, switch theme. Let's try another one. Let's do Moonstone. All right, let's just do Moonstone. This is very simple right here. This is one of the more simpler backgrounds. Okay, so Moonstone. So we're going to go to select theme. All right, yes, let's do it. So we're going to delete anything that's on here. All right. So same thing here. So let's actually see if that same thing applies. Let me see if I wanted to change the background color to this. What would I need to do? So the same thing that we did in an Obsidian thing, we're going to click these three dots. We're going to go down to more tools, developer tools. And now we're going to just click this arrow button right here in the corner. We're going to now try to highlight, find exactly where the HTML code is located. Okay, and this says here it has a class of page bottom, but let's check these other HTML. We want to make sure that we actually got the exact, okay, HTML. All right, so this should be it. So page bottom, we actually have the CSS that's right here. So I'm just going to highlight all of this. And unlike the Obsidian theme, if the HTML or the CSS is available in the right corner that you see here, then just copy and paste that, and you're just going to change more of the obvious properties that you see within the code so i'm gonna hit Control command v on the mac and if i want to change the background color uh this is using some sort of hex value but you can just name it um, css reads and understands traditional color naming conventions so if i just say red click off of it boom and that works too so the same technique very much so works probably on any theme that's the, this technique that i'm showing you this trick probably is going to work or more than likely is going to work on anything that you're trying to adjust into your Vimeo OTT theme. So I'm going to leave some example code just for the Obsidian theme because I've already copied and already adjusted and read the CSS for that. That will be available in the description as well or in the pinned comment below. So you can be able to copy and paste all of that so you can change the colors using the techniques here into your obsidian thing if you are using that or otherwise you can just do what i just did in this video and go to the developer tools find the html code the css and go from there or i could just do it for you it's going to be a hundred dollars an hour for a 60 minute consultation so uh, all of the details and rules are applicable here so 60 minutes you need an hour hundred dollars per hour i think that's very much fair especially in today's time right now and instead of you having to spend like a thousand two thousand three thousand dollars for some custom theme to just basically do what you just saw me do here in this this video and you just want me to actually do this for you while we're on the phone or whatnot then we can also make that a possibility as well so many options for you cheap option do your vimeo tt quick start course get with me on a consultation we'll take care of that for you and go from there or you can just do it yourself free of charge because you learned something from this video that's going to be it in this video if you found this video to be very helpful and you need further assistance and you don't want to pay anything please check out the library of vimeo ott videos that i already have free of charge on this channel so you can teach yourself how to make these adjustments and learn the platform on your own thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next one